the format of being robot. In 2013, 23 people received an email by a mysterious user who deleted their accounts days later. The email contained a long rant about modern SpongeBob which talked about problems that many people already know about, like how the characters are now incredibly stupid, or how the show is now mean-spirited. Everyone who received the email shrugged it off and thought that the email was created and sent by some ranter who wanted to persuade people into agreeing with his or her opinion. However, one of the recipients posted the email on a Steam community forum, also explaining that someone sent the most pointless spam ever. This is when things get odd. People began asking the recipient about an out-of-place YouTube link buried within the droning rant. Apparently, the email had an unhyperlinked YouTube video right in the middle of the rant. This was odd since an email would always show a YouTube video at the bottom of the email, regardless if it was hyperlinked or not. But this email never displayed a video at the bottom for any of the recipients. The only theory that anyone could come up with about this was that the email was modded to hide the video from anyone who received the email. The recipient then proceeded to contact the other 22 people about this link and its location. Soon enough, the recipients found the link and copied and pasted it into the address bar. The video's content, however, was described as very disturbing, unnerving and horrifying. The link reportedly led to a 1.30 long video with 5 views named, The Credits Sequences, which was uploaded by a user with a jumble of numbers in their name, you know those kind, the people with names like, 4,037,483, or, 192,847. Those who attempted to view the channel were unsuccessful since it would redirect to a 404 screen. The video started out with the end credits of Spongebob. If you don't know what the credits sequence of Spongebob is, it consists of red text that display names of the staff and their roles on a yellow background with white flowers on it. Anyway, there's no indication on what episode these credits are from. However, the part where the writers are credited shows the names of Walt Dorn and Mary Weather Williams, meaning that the episode may have been from somewhere in seasons 1 to 3 since they only worked on SpongeBob for those seasons. The video continued with the normal credits sequence showing the animators, the producers and so on. Those who watched thought the video was nothing special. That was until the video reached the 15 second mark. At the same moment, the viewers have reported that the generic ukulele music began to have an echo to it, as if it was recorded and played in a large gymnasium. As the video reached the 27 second mark, the music grew ear-piercingly loud to the point where they could hear low-pitched thumbing. What happened at the 30 second mark was terrifying. From what the viewers reported, that they heard screams within the music, some male, some female, and some that sounded inhuman. The screaming intensified as the seconds went by, getting louder and louder and even overlapping each other. The visuals weren't pleasing either. On the screen, the background became nearly dark and the words were now glowing white. The screen was now bouncing and changing colors at this point like a damaged VHS tape. Purple static was also fading in and out of the shot. Even stranger, stock images of Spongebob kept popping up on screen at various areas while keeping that dark color effect. This went on until the 40 second mark where it changed to the United Plankton Pictures Incorporated logo as it would usually do during the credits. The bouncing became worse during this sequence to the point where some viewers claimed that their video began chugging. The screen would now morph to the right in 5 second intervals and display a green bar at the bottom. Some viewers reported seeing figures moving in the green bar. The audio changed to a low buzzing sound which had a blend of static to it along with a deep voice laughing, not demonic, but generally low pitched. This went on until 1.15 where the video froze for 5 seconds with a large green box blocking the bottom left section of the screen. The audio also changed to a blast of static. Then, the Nickelodeon Splat logo used from 1984 to 2009 appeared, with the copyright year reading 2002. The logo stayed on the screen for the rest of the video until it ended. Also, at 1.25, a very quiet whisper can be heard saying something, but nobody was able to understand what it said. 
After the video was discovered, the recipients who viewed the video began acting strangely. According to reports, they would have the following consequences, become paranoid, stressed, and would become shaken upon talking about the subject of the video. The viewers reported hearing the Spongebob credits song play very quietly. They would also claim to hear distant screams, the deep voice laughing, and that weird inaudible whisper. Ever since this incident, YouTube has deleted the video along with the user who uploaded it. Trying to find this video and the user would be pointless and would render no results, so don't be surprised when you don't find anything when trying to hunt down this video. After all, some things need to be removed.